Welcome to the last in the series of Boswell's College Maths Induction videos. In this video we are going to be taking a look at inverse proportion. So here I have y is inversely proportional to x. Given that y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 2, find the value of y when x is equal to 10. So the fact that it is inversely proportional, this is telling me that instead of having y is equal to kx, I need y equal to k over x. Now we're going to do exactly like we did in the previous video. We need to find out a value for k first. So we find our value for k by substituting in the two values that we know already. So we know that um, when y is equal to 10, that x is equal to 2. So now we have 10 is equal to k over 2. So that means that k is going to be 10 multiplied by 2. And so what we can say is that k is equal to 20. Now we have figured out what our value for k is equal to, we can then use this to write our formula. And our formula this time, so we're replacing k with 20, we're going to have y is equal to 20 over x and then in this case we're looking to find out y when um, when x is equal to 10 so we just substitute this 10 into the formula that we've just found and so we get y is equal to 20 divided by 10 and so we can say that y is equal to 2 and that would be our final answer so what is the value of y when x is equal to 10, y is equal to 2? Um, okay, next one. m is inversely proportional to n squared. Given that m is equal to 0.2 when n equals 5, find the value of m when n is equal to 0.5. So again, I'm just going to write, because it is inversely proportional, I'm going to write that m is equal to k over n squared. Then I'm going to substitute in my values that I already know. So I know that m is equal to 0 0.2 when n is equal to 5. So I can say that 0 0.2 is equal to k over 5 squared. So then what I could then say is that um, that means that 0.2 is equal to k over 25. So I could say that um, k is equal to 0.2 multiplied by 25. And so that gives me an answer of k must be equal to um, 5. So now, k, now I know what my value for k is equal to. I can then just substitute that value for k into the formula that we started with and use that to then solve this, the problem that we're, that we're asked to find. So we'll have m is equal to 5 over, and um, so we've got uh, n squared. m is equal to 5 over m squared and we're told that n is equal to 0 0.5 so what we could say then is that m is equal to 5 divided by 0 0.5 squared and so then what I could say is that m is equal to 5 over 0 0.25 um, and so that means that I could say that m and this will be my final answer, uh, 5 divided by 0 0.25, that's going to give me an answer of 20. So my final answer here is that m is equal to 20 when n is equal to 0 0.5. Okay, uh, two practice questions. What I suggest you do is attempt these two on paper, then um, check to see whether they're your answers are correct by looking at the answers that are coming up on the next page um, now.